Hey everybody, Dean Graziosi. Welcome to this week's blog. Again, to everybody or anybody that's new to this site, congratulations for being here. This is a site where we hope to always deliver capabilities, wisdom, direction, and most of all, encouragement from other people that are out there doing it, all the way to the new person who just started today meeting each other. And that's one of the things I want to talk about today is partnering up with somebody or basically maybe even modeling someone right here at this site. So if you're new or if you're not new, if you've been here forever, if you're new here, I encourage you to find someone that could be like, you know, people that go through uh, AA or go through addiction problems. They always have a sponsor. They always have someone that encourages them when they're down or when they're thinking about not taking action or going in the wrong direction, someone they can call or reach out to to give them that right upper hand or that lift up, not someone who goes, ah, you were right. I told you you couldn't make it. I told you it wouldn't work. So if you don't have someone really positive in your life, um, I would suggest finding someone here. What sparked this is someone literally on DG just an hour ago, I looked, it says, want to be my partner, looking for a great partner. And I love that. Some of the best partners, let me just tell you, some of the best partner teams I know were developed right here at DeanGraziosi.com. I mean, there are people who have made millions, one person with money, one with a lot of energy, one living in a good location, just by networking, by letting your intentions known, you attract the right people. And I don't know, I hope that you have so many positive people in your life, you can't even count them on two hands. But I know a lot of cases we don't. We have a lot of the naysayers, a lot of negative people, a lot of people that see the glass half empty, not half full. But this is the place you can find someone to encourage you. So again, if you're new here, reach out or maybe even follow someone who posts a great message all the time. You're going to see some superstars that are always here helping, encouraging. So I, I, I ask you to please, as part of your growth, as part of your learning, as part of your success plan, make sure you stay right here. A couple other things. I'm also going to rename these weekly blogs. We've come up with some names. One of them I'm thinking of is Mindset Mondays. Um, but what I'd love to know is, do you like that name? I want to rebrand the weekly blog to a new name. If you have a thought for a name, post it below. Again, I came up, I think, with Mindset Mondays. We had a couple other, uh, you know, I don't want to make it all about mindset because, you know, some Sometimes we deliver real estate wisdom here, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you got a name and I use it, it'd be fantastic. You get to name the weekly blog. You know, one other thing I wanted to comment on, I wrote down here, energy. You know, so many times through the videos that I've been sending in, I did that live webcast, people are like, how do you have so much energy? I want to tell you, I get tired sometimes and sometimes I'm down, but when I'm doing business or I'm trying to encourage or I'm trying to train or I'm trying to close a deal, I'm trying to buy a real estate deal or sell one or put a buyer and seller together, I never, ever go into it without enthusiasm because enthusiasm is infectious at every level. I mean, literally when I used to hire somebody, I would run an ad and send them to a voicemail and say, please leave your name and number and why you think this job would work for you. And what I realized my first sifting process was when I'd get somebody to go, hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Bob. Um, yeah, I'm applying for that ad. I think it's cool. Now, that guy may have been the greatest employer in the world, but I never even got past phase one because he didn't give me any energy or any enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, like I said, is infectious whether you're buying or selling. And I don't mean talking fast or talking loud. A lot of times, it's just being a good listener, but make sure you deliver some passion in anything that you share. And one last thing before I go, I was in New York City this week uh, during a mastermind brainstorm that I'm involved with, the Genius Network Mastermind. Great group of people. Some of you know it is the 25K group. I've talked about it. I pay 25 grand to go and be around really smart people and talk about how we could take our lives, our business, our training to the next level. And one person brought up something really important. He's like, when I'm not living in the present moment, is usually when I get off track. When I go too deep into what my past problems were, or I look too far out in the future and it seems a little complicated, I get off track. But when I live in the moment and say, yesterday was what it was, tomorrow's gonna be better, let me make a difference today, that's when I'm most productive. And I think a lot of us do that. We let the past hold us back when it should just be your research and development. If you made a lot of mistakes, great, you never make them again. Your past is just research and development for a bigger future. You wanna focus on a bigger future, you wanna set goals, but don't get too far out and ahead of yourself. Focus, live in the moment, live in the present time, take action. Next week, I'll be back with a wonderful blog and I got a real estate technique I'm gonna share with you next week that is absolutely doing amazing for me right now. I bought a couple hundred properties in the last few weeks and I'm buying 30 more tomorrow. So some really great stuff happened. I'm learning a lot. I'm gonna share it with you. I'll see you next week.